Since FIFA has been one of the most popular console and PC games for years, it's not surprising that millions of fans are already playing FIFA 23 just a few weeks after it came out. And just like any other new game, FIFA 23 has some launch problems, one of which is the unrecoverable error we're dealing with right now. Here's what to do if FIFA 23 won't launch or keeps giving you that the application encountered an unrecoverable error message, or if the secure boot error keeps popping out. For By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, restart the game app and the launcher. FIFA 23's unrecoverable error message appears intermittently for some users because of a glitch in the game or the launcher steam. Epic Games Origin Thankfully, this issue may be quickly resolved by terminating FIFA 23 and its launcher through Task Manager. Here's how to do that. Open the Task Manager by pressing CTRL plus Shift plus ESC. In the Processes tab, look for all instances of FIFA 23 in your launcher and right-click on them. Then, select End Task to close each of the processes. Relaunch the game and check for the problem. Next, next, turn off any overlay. If you're experiencing an unrecoverable error in FIFA 23, deactivating any overlays you might be utilizing is a good place to start troubleshooting the issue. The following are examples of overlay elements that have the potential to alter some games. NVIDIA GeForce Overlay or Origin Overlay Team Overlay e Overlay Next Run FIFA 23 with administrator privileges. It's possible that certain programs need more extensive access to files in order to function correctly. You can try running FIFA 23 as an administrator to see if it fixes the unrecoverable error if you're still receiving it at this stage. Normally, games like FIFA 23 don't need administrator access, but if you're having issues, you might as well try it. Here's what you must do. Make sure that FIFA 23 and your game launcher are closed. You can check the task manager and close them from there if necessary. Go to the installation folder of FIFA 23. The exact directory depends on your system. Find the fifatwo3.exe file and right-click on it. Select Run as administrator. Wait for the system to launch FIFA 23 and check for the problem. Next, delete and reinstall the e-anti-cheat. Turning off overlays may have helped. But if it still isn't working, you may have an issue with the e-anti-cheat system. Taking extreme measures may be required for certain athletes. The anti-cheat software for the game must now be uninstalled and reinstalled. Here's what you need to do. Make sure that FIFA 23 and your game launcher are closed. You can check the task manager and close them from there if necessary. Go to C, Program Files, E, a C. Launch the EA anti cheatinstallerexe by right-clicking on it and selecting Open, or you can simply double-click it. Once the e-anti-cheat installer window is up, click on the drop-down bar on the right and select FIFA 23. Once you've done that, click on Install button. Afterwards, you can re-download the e-anti-cheat again and install. Proceed to replace the current e-anti-cheat version. After you've successfully reinstalled the e-anti-cheat, relaunch the game and check for the problem again. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.